All right, because this particular lesson is asking you to use what you know to prove whether something is um, you know, a certain type of figure, they are asking us in numbers 8, 9, and 10 to see if we can conclude that uh, these parallelograms are either rhombuses or rectangles or squares. So, and then explain why. So, for number 8, we see that, <coughs> excuse me, we see that the opposite angles are being bisected. And when does that happen? That happens in a rhombus. We already know that it's a parallelogram, um, but when the opposite angles are, are bisected, then we are dealing with a rhombus. We know that we have a rhombus. And so that's what we can conclude for this first one. So then the figure is a rhombus. We know this because all parallelograms with a diagonal bisecting, uh, I should say, um, an opposite pair of angles uh, must be a rhombus. Yep. So number nine, can you conclude that this is one of these types? Well, what do we see? We see that the diagonals are meeting at a 90 degree angle perpendicular. Uh, they're perpendicular to each other. So what do we know about that? Well, we know that any parallelogram with diagonals that are perpendicular must be a rhombus. So this is also a rhombus. So we first state the figure's a rhombus. We know this because any parallelogram that has perpendicular diagonals must be a rhombus. Yep. And then the last one, we see these diagonals are being bisected. The diagonals are being bisected. Well, what do we know about that? Well, I know that um, parallelograms have diagonals that bisect each other. And that only proves that it's a parallelogram. That doesn't show that it's any more specific special type of a parallelogram, like a rhombus rectangle or, or a square. So we would say this. We cannot prove this figure to be any of the three special types of parallelograms. All parallelograms have diagonals that bisect each other, but we have no additional information to show it is one of these special types. So short answer, no. Um, that's it. That's how you do these. Um, Again, you're taking what you know about things that make, um, you know, features of rhombuses or rectangles or squares and saying if it displays this feature, then it's one of these things. And um, again, for, for eight, if, the, if a pair of opposite angles are bisected by the diagonal, then it must be a rhombus. If the two diagonals form 90 degree angles, must be a rhombus. Um, but par all parallelograms have diagonals bisected so that doesn't narrow it down to be a rhombus or a rectangle or a square.